Hello, my name is Dr. Jeff Collini, and welcome to another episode of Ask the Scientist. This show is about busting myths, bringing you the truth. Hey, the largest legal drug that is consumed um, in the United States, but I'll bet in the world, is caffeine. And one of the things that people ask me all the time, number one, is caffeine safe? Number two, do I need to cycle on and off caffeine? I'm gonna talk about cycling on and off caffeine. Um, as far as, if it, is it safe? That's a whole nother story for a whole nother day. So let's talk about what happens. Caffeine is a central nervous stimulant. Like any drug, the more you use it, the more your body becomes resistant, resistant to it, so it doesn't work the same. When you first start drinking coffee, you will get that coffee buzz, but after a while, you gotta drink more and more and more. This day and age, with caffeine being in every energy drink, um, double mocha lattes with you know five shots, and every pre-workout, you know, maxing that caffeine to the guild, you've gotta be careful not to get in too much caffeine. The Mayo Clinic recommends no more than about 700 milligrams a day so again, be careful when some of these pre-workouts um, elevate over 300, 400, 500 milligrams, way too much per dose. So here's my recommendation. You know, in order to clean those receptor sites out and to keep your body from becoming resistant to that caffeine, um, minimize it by only use it, if you're gonna do a pre-workout, only use it on workout days. Non-workout days, don't use pre-workouts because you're tired. Again, your body's gonna get used to it. If you're a coffee drinker, okay, most people can't get up in the morning and go without coffee. But try on the weekends, maybe only having one cup in the morning. If all possible, I would highly recommend after about four weeks that you try to go off caffeine completely for at least three or four days. One week would be better, but again, I know for most people it's impossible. If you can't do it every four weeks, then for sure every eight weeks. Again, like any supplement, it's good to give your body a little bit of a break, um, and especially with caffeine. If you want to get all the benefits, then make sure every four to eight weeks that you go off at least for, like I said, four to seven days. Give your body a break, and you'll find when you go back on that it's going to work like you remembered it worked, and you'll be able to take lower dosages. All right, my friends, I hope that helps. 